What is a good boundary survey? Uh, I know in, in a lot of my videos, I will use that term. You don't get a good boundary survey uh, when, you're, when you're doing land development or commercial real estate. Um, and I realized the other day that I don't know that I've ever done a video that explains what I mean when I say that. So uh, what is a good boundary survey? What does that mean? All right, so to answer that question, uh, we're going we're gonna to answer three other questions, three related questions, okay? What's included in a good boundary survey, number one? Number two, what makes a good boundary survey different from a bad boundary survey? And number three, how do you find a land surveyor that will perform a good boundary survey? So those are the three the three kind of sub-questions that we're going to answer. All right, so let's start with that first one. What's included in a good boundary survey? Proper lands record research. That's where it starts. Okay, that includes the subject parcel, deeds, and the deeds of the immediate neighbors, okay, or what we call the adjoiners. So uh, your land surveyor should be looking at deeds and not just the deed for your parcel, but the, date, the deeds for the parcels that are next door. It includes a search for all monuments. Okay, uh, you need to look for all the monuments that, that mark the subject parcel. It includes a proper boundary, what I call boundary resolution or boundary retracement. Uh, that, that includes things like evaluating evidence, uh, determining uh, the, the legal principles that are gonna apply or control. Uh, it, it includes applying the correct legal principles. It applies evaluating unwritten rights, estimating the amount of uncertainty, uh, uh, replacement or, re or, or rehabilitation of uh, property corner monuments, um, and then some kind of documentation. It could be a technical report. It's often a map. There's often a map for the client, and then there's often a map for future boundary surveyors that needs to be prepared. So all of those things, that's a lot, right? That's a big list. All that's involved in a good boundary survey. Okay, so what makes a good boundary survey different from a bad boundary survey? So a bad boundary survey is typically bare bones, right? They're, they're going to do the least amount of work needed to draw the lines, right, to draw the boundary of the parcel. And the problem with that is they often put the lines in the wrong spot. So they do the minimum amount of work they need to draw the lines, and then they draw the lines in the wrong spot, right? That's, that's how lawsuits happen. That's how people end up in court over boundary disputes. Okay, so it's typically bare bones. It's incomplete. A lot of guys do what we call corner dusting or two monument tango, right? So they're not looking for all the, the property corner monuments. They're not looking at the neighboring deeds. Um, a lot of engineers will get their surveying license and then think that a boundary survey is just a math problem. It's not a math problem. Uh, you do need to use math, but you also have to apply the right legal principles. Engineers aren't very good at that. And then most bad boundary surveyors are poorly documented. Boundary surveys are poorly documented or not documented at all. And I find that a lot. Um, you know, I'll be working for somebody and the neighbor will say, oh, I got a survey. And I say, okay, great. Well, can I get a copy of it? And they say, copy of what? He just came out here and brushed off the corners, dusted off the corners. All right, that's not a real survey, right? So uh, poorly documented, bad, bad surveys. All right, so how do you find a, a surveyor that's going to do a good boundary survey? They're important. There's a huge difference uh, between a bad boundary survey and a good boundary survey, both in price and quality. So uh, if you are uh, going to be part of a commercial real estate transaction or a land development project, and I've convinced you that it's important to get a good boundary survey from watching my other videos, how do you find a surveyor that will do that? All right, do your research, right? Don't just uh, start calling people uh, out of the yellow pages and find the cheapest person you can get. Uh, that's usually the best way to get a bad boundary survey, by the way, not a good good boundary survey. So do your research, know something about the company that you're going to hire, get recommendations from other people, other people in the real estate industry, um, and ask questions. You know, you can ask ask some questions. Ask your uh, boundary survey you're going to hire about their process. Ask them if they're going to do some of the things that we talked about in this video, right? And make sure that they, they tell you that they are and that you get that in writing. So a good boundary survey is a lot of work. There's a lot of things involved. There's a huge difference between a good boundary survey and a bad boundary survey. Now you know what a good boundary survey is. Make sure you pay for a good boundary survey on your next commercial real estate transaction or land development project.